If you're watching this video, chances are you've created an AstraDB database and now you want to know how to use it. We'll show you how. When you create an AstraDB database, Stargate, which is a component of AstraDB, automatically creates a REST API for you. In this example, we'll use curl to access the API. Let's set up some environment variables to facilitate working with curl. Astra DB makes this easy. Log into Astra, find your database page, and click on the Connect tab. Click on REST API and copy the export commands by clicking the clipboard icon. In your terminal, paste the export commands from your clipboard. You see that the first three commands are database specific values for your database. We need to set the fourth export value, the application token, before we can execute the fourth command. To create the token, go to the Organization Management screen and click on Token Management from the left navigation. Then, select the Database Administrator role and click Generate Token. Copy the token by clicking here. For security reasons, we only get one shot at copying the token. So once you copy the token, make sure you paste it to a place where you can reuse it before overwriting the clipboard. In our case, we'll go to a terminal and place the token at the end of the fourth export command, replacing the placeholder. We can echo the variable just to make sure we set it correctly. Now, we're ready to start using the API to create a table. There are four parts to our curl rest command. The HTTP operation type, the rest URL endpoint, the headers, and any associated JSON. We'll use an HTTP post command to create a table. We construct the URL endpoints as follows, using the environment variables we set up with the export commands. We'll place the token in the headers using the variable we set up. Finally, we use JSON to describe the table we're constructing. In this example, we'll name the table products, and it will have five columns named ID, product name, description, price, and created. Here's what the final curl command looks like. Let's execute it. Even though we see the result from the command, we can use the CQL console to verify we created the table. Next, Let's create a record in the table. Again, we'll use an HTTP POST command. The URL endpoint looks similar to the one we used for creating the table, but we replace table with products. We use the same headers, and you can see that the JSON describes the record by specifying values for each of the columns. Let's execute this command. We'll use an HTTP get command to the retrieve the record. To construct the URL endpoint, we add the ID value to the URL. Note, the ID is the primary key for this table. We still need the application token header, but since this is a read command, we don't need any JSON. When we execute the command, we see that we get the record back. We pipe the output into JQ to make it a little easier to read. The command to update the record looks like a combination of a read and a write. We use the same URL we used when we read the record, but we use the headers in JSON similar to the write command. Also, notice that we use the HTTP put verb. 
Let's get the record to make sure the update happened. Finally, let's delete the record. We'll use an HTTP delete verb, but otherwise the command looks just like the read command. Here's the curl command to delete the table. Notice the URL is the same we used to create the table, with the table name appended to the end of the URL. That's all there is to using AstraDB's REST API to access your database. If you want to know more, you can check out the AstraDB API references by clicking here and here.